Good day, mates. This is Bobby Gunner Who here. Welcome to episode 6 of Let's Play Taito Bush Rescue. In yeah, that episode, we drove a helicopter a bunch of times and did some time challenges here and there. And that's really about it, really. But now, I think it's about time we get to explore a whole new area now, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> So let's see what we got up here there. We kinda got two missions back to back here. And yeah, let's see what's up here. We got these weird things. Basically they shoot cannibals out of their gullets and so you don't want that I guess. I I don't know. Anyways, here we have this huge tree here. Uh, this should be entrance at the back of it. Let's take care of your you out, just so I don't have to deal with any of you. Yeah, and see, uh, uh, where the where the fire explodes, we don't want that, anyways. All right, there's Gubu Steve again. I don't tend to find. I just keep finding. Maybe three if you use big print. There was this time when this thing happened in this place I was at. Oh boy, was that ever an adventure. This person, I forgot their name, they had something they had to do something to. And I had another thing that someone else had to do stuff with. <laughs> they sure were wild times. I like these kids. Here, have these things I got from that person in my story. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, now it's time to head to side of the tree and we can now find entering our first big location here in, in the game. And it's Welcome to the Frill Neck Forest. And we got some pitch frames here. Oh god, I'll try to get all of them, but if I miss some, then oh well. Doesn't matter, we'll get all the pitch frames in the end, so there's that. So we're just gonna climb up this tree here first. I know it doesn't look like a forest at first, but just go up here to the entrance and yeah, here we go. I've to this day I still have no clue what this is supposed to be. Is this some sort of weird gym jungle thing? Then why is it all enclosed in nets and that? Strange place, anyways. At the beginning, this tree here, we had this well. Go up here, and there's another platinum cog. I was about to say thunder egg or golden cog, so. It's <laughs> there, so. Yeah, I don't know what this place is about. I clear this sign here at the end of this course, obstacle course that needs a help, but. I don't know, I don't know what this place is. I mean, is this where. The fields live? Is this where the fields were born or something? I don't know, it feels very weird. So, yeah, this is basically one huge platforming, of course, which I could dig. Yeah, and every time we get to a certain part, these ladders will come out, so in case we fall down, we can always climb back up to them. So, considering there's pseudo checkpoints. And also, ne. Never glide down onto a ladder like guys. For some reason you decide to glide down to a ladder, Ty will just keep on letting go of the ladder or a damn time. So basically don't glide on the ladder. Always the game will have a fit. So, so just jump at them. Cause some reason you try gliding, Ty will just keep plumping off plumping off them. And yes, there's pitch phones around it too, but honestly I'll just Go back to get them. Really? Cause yeah. Also, I just saw sort of grab a hook there, so that could be useful for my lasso wang. Uh. Hmm. I wish I could use my boomerang to grab these opals. Uh. Get out of the way. Who the frick you are? Teenage Ninja Quills? I don't know. 
Okay, another ladder fell down. I'm nearly dead, actually. <laughs> okay. What's over here? I wonder. Anything special? Just a picture frame. Okay. At least I have to get that then. Nope. Yep. And yeah, you can't stay on the platform for too long, otherwise they'll flip and you fall back down here, so... It's like I gotta do all that. Climb over again. Thankfully, I don't think it's that long. So, yeah. Mm. There you go, we got an actual checkpoint and a la- Ugh. Okay. So I'm just gonna jump through his calls. I'll go back to get the picture frames later as usual. So yeah. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, it's going as well, why not? And I really regret it. <sighs> Alright, back here again. Let's take the safer route this time. There we go. There's a chromium orb over there, but don't know exactly how to get it. Hmm? Don't know what these claws are doing here for. <coughs> it's okay, should be nearing the end. <coughs> nope. Come back here. Thank you. Nice. Now I'll jump up here. As I believe, uh, this is how you get supposed to get a coin. You're supposed to jump from these platforms so I can get over to that orb there. there we go. Okay, it's communal number four. And under there is a pitch frame. And then I'll get later. So yeah, now I gotta make all the way back back to where I was. Okay. Yeah. Where is the no music in this stage? Anyways, there you are. Trying to face my fears? You see, I suffer from hypsophobia. What? You're scared of hippies? No, scared of heights. I figured that if I face my fears, I, I could overcome them. So did it work? It did, until I looked down. Don't worry, mate. I'll help you down. Thanks, Ty. I think I'll work on my fear of heights at home. I'll start by using a stepladder. Ty? Wooly Wooly Oil Ring is under attack. The whole place is going to blow unless you do something about it. This is top priority, Ty, so get cracking, mate. Oh, gee, that sounds like boss time. Well, yeah, now you rescue Buno. I guess I only went there because he wanted to go with Sphere Heights. Hey, boss to try, but you know, best to do baby steps, eh? So, yeah, anyways, now I shall be off on to my next mission. Which, oh boy, is over here in Mount oh, Boom. Me. It's just dreadful, Ty. I've sponsored a team of scientists to explore Mount Boom. But something's gone wrong. And now they're trapped inside the volcano. I feel so responsible. I'm their patron, you know. You patronize them? Oh, no, no, I just give them money. I'm frightfully worried. It's been ages since I've heard from them. You must go inside and make sure they're okay. Relax, Dennis. I'll see what I can do. Oh dear. Well, it's like a team of scientists is basically got trapped in down there, so. Yeah. So now it's finally time to, well, explore the. find a second area we can explore. Mount Boom. 
<clears throat> yeah, we're fine to use the natural, well, I say platforming, but more like just puzzles and stuff, so. Da -da -da. There we go. And here's the mic that I kind of blew up. I think, I don't know, it was called the Fermio Extranal Science Web, I don't know. This place is a sort of fire fire like mech. You can spin around, it can spray water everywhere. And yeah. Although I find we way too slow and wait. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. It can t take lo it's lava proof. That's pretty awesome. Well, yeah, other than that, it's too slow and it's really clogging towards like a blight tank, which I know that's the point, but. So yeah. Honestly, I kind of hate this mech. Where'd it go? Oh, it's back to its spawn point. So yeah, we're in the volcano area. Okay, so I guess we gotta climb up here and... Thanks, Julius. Really, it wasn't like I was going to do that anyway. I thought like I was something I was way going to learn on my own, so... Just hit the barn with water. Um, I don't think. Oh, it doesn't matter. And oh, but a firewall. Thankfully, obviously, water just, just extinguishes fire, so we should be good to go. My stupid throat is hurting. God. And nope. And of course, there'll be frills in my way, so I gotta take that out. So yeah. Game play, I don't know. Just get out of my way. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we got some more platforming here, and oh, some. Shut up, motorbike. <clears throat> Anyways, okay, no idea what that did. I'll get to that later. Yeah, those pillars waste up, so I can now get back up here. We're having to waste our time going around here, so let's jump up these platforms. And now we're at the top level here. Uh, there's an opal bag there. Go. Da -da -da. So, go go around now. So you go around this. This t this mech is too slow. This mech is too slow. Why is I always talk? Meh. Slow ass mech, I hate this. Mech, it's too slow. Go faster, go faster. Slow poke, you're too slow. I don't know. Okay. Okay, you're space with water, and now activate wherever that was. I. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. I got an old bag, press this platform. And now bring that ladder down. Sweet. Okay. I got to go all the way back though. Great. I kind of just think I had a, like a boost option. Please, at least. God, it's being slow. Okay, I'm trying to get a look around. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, it's faster just to jump. You know, it's not really not much faster. I know you can't climb ladders when you're in a mech. Which, fair enough, I guess. So, uh, oh, Come on. Grab the ladder. Grab the ladder. Thank you. And now, here we have a bit of a puzzle here. 
this yellow button actually resets the platforms there. So, because what it's supposed to do is these three buttons do the corresponding platforms. There's well, not here, but behind me. So, let's go back here and grab myself this apple bag. And now I can get back up there. Well, that's just great. Hankly, there's a quick way of getting back up there. And so, someone's in that small stream of lava kill me. And now I'm back down here! Great! So, kind of that there. So, yeah, these, these bonds make these platforms down here noob. Now, what I do is someone use these platforms and make a some sort of bridge. Bridge to either one of these three switches uh, back up there. <sighs> and you got to make sure that this is. They are super. You gotta make sure they're pretty close together, because you gotta nick each junk while you're in the throwing your, while you're in the in the mech, because you can only activate the switches with the water from the mech. So they gotta be pretty close together, or otherwise, you're just gonna be wasting more time just trying to line up these stupid platforms. So yeah, I hate this part though. I we really do not like Mount Boom because it's just just this one part of the game. This. This part can suck it. Because again, you you can't really jump that far in the mech. So these platforms we really gotta line up perfectly in order to, you know, nick up to these switches which we gotta hit. So that's one. And now we gotta nick it. And we gotta nick it to the second one here, which means new we need plat we say the platforms and they can move again to the other platform this is so I'm sorry for swearing again, but this is so fucking tedious. Who thought this was a good idea? I mean, really? Uh, this is so tedious. And can you even call this a puzzle, really? All, all this does is pad out the game time. I don't know what I'm talking about, anyway. Come on, you slow ass platform. There we go, and of course they all go like perfectly because the mech can't jump that far. Otherwise, you're just wasting more, more, even more time just trying to get. How are kids supposed to figure do this? Kids can we? How is my kids to do this crap? Crap, kids don't have that long attention span. God, they'll get really freaking bored with this crap. Huh? Nice. Jump right here, activate this second switch. And now we got one more left to activate, so I got wasting more time doing these stupid platforms. <sighs> Who thought this was a good idea? Do, do, do. Okay. Now to do the other one. Uh, yeah, whatever. <sighs> Gameplay. Okay. Crap. Looks like I gotta wait for it to go back and forth again. Before I sleep here. Yeah, so I just spin around. Why can't I just glide there? Why can't I have Why can't I just fly in the air? Why can't I do that? I just screwed up, didn't I? Oh who cares? I'll give it a go anyway. Not expecting much. Oh, I did bow in then, I this this game sound like has no sense. Okay. Let's 
Jesus. Okay, now I activate that last switch. Being open that door, wherever it is. <laughs> so, next time, let's play Tire 2 Bush Rescue. Well, we'll see what we're doing next time. So, it's Borgana Who, and I'll see you next time. See you later, people.